Welcome to sixth grade history. This is for lesson 149. You have a quiz, quiz 33 to take, and then we will look at our pages um, 293 to 296 about some more, some more of the West Indy Islands. Okay, so I will let you go ahead and pause and take the quiz. When you come back, we'll look into the islands. All right, I hope you did well on that quiz. If you haven't taken it yet, then you can um, go ahead and you can, you know, probably be taking it after the lesson, which is fine. But did you know that Puerto Rico is the only part of the United States that Columbus ever visited? He was attributed with, with um, discovering America, but he didn't actually step foot on um, a United States state, um, but he did get on a, um, a territory because um, Puerto Rico is our, is a, is a territory of the U.S. and so um, it was, um, became a U.S. possession in 1898 because after the Spanish-American War. Um, in 1917 they became U.S. citizens and in 52, 1952, the island became a self-governing territory, um, the Commonwealth of Puerto Rico. And so they are, um, they're able to travel to all of the U.S., um, like U.S. citizens, they can travel throughout the U.S. Um, anywhere without a passport. And, um, but they don't actually have to pay um, federal income tax. And while they live on the island, they don't vote in any presidential election. Um, they are able to move and, and go to a, a state, and if they live in that state for the, the amount of time they could vote um, if they are living in one of the, the states. So um, they're an industrious island, and so that, that's Puerto Rico. And it was first... Um, called San Juan, um, San Juan Baptisto. It was named after John the Baptist, Columbus named it. And um, one of their, the Commonwealth motto is Juan es su nombre, which is Spanish for John is his name. And that's actually from the Bible, from Luke 1, 63. And so San Juan's the capital and the largest city. And it became the capital in 1521. 99 years before the pilgrims landed in Massachusetts. And so this was, this is a very old um, city and a very old country. Um, and it's been around that long. And so um, the Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico's economy is closely associated with the U.S. Um, and the people have a higher standard of living than most of the rest of the West Indies. Um, they do, they're one of um, the largest um, exporters of medicinal drugs for the U.S. And most, so more than half, approximately half of our prescription drugs come from there. Um, they also do raise sugarcane, coffee, tobacco, and export those. There's um, several tourist spots there's, um, that are, that people like to visit the Lucio Beach, El Yunca Peak um, is a mountain, and El Moro Fortress. And so they are very, um, they're very densely populated. That means a lot of people live there. Um, and so they don't have a whole lot of wild animals, but there is an interesting one called the Koki, and it's a small frog, and it sings like a bird. Um, and so that's some about Puerto Rico. Um, then Jamaica comes from the name that means, or it was an Araka, Arawak name. Um, remember those Indian, that Indian tribe, meaning Island of Springs. And the, um, it is the world's largest producer, uh, or most of the world's supply of pimento spice comes from them, but they also um, produce uh, bauxite, which is an oil that's, um, used to make aluminum. But the pimento spice is also known as allspice or Jamaican pe pepper. This isn't the same um, if you've ever had those green olives with a little piece of red 
pimento in them. That's not the same thing. Um, that's a different pimento. Um, so just, just so you know that that's different. Um, a lot of, um, on Jamaica, there's a, been a lot of um, Baptist missions. Um, George Lyell, you may remember from what we've already studied him, that he was a freed black slave that went to the island of Jamaica. Um, but then also there was a, a missionary, one of the early English missionaries to Jamaica, came because Robert Boyle, he was, that, he was the scientist, and he was a Christian. He left it in his will. He left some money and said that it had to be used for, um, for spreading the gospel. And so there were, in a foreign place, so it couldn't be done in England, had to go to a different, that the missionary had to go to a different place. And so there was a missionary that went to, um, from England to Jamaica and um, was able to spread the gospel more. And so um, there, they had a great spiritual revival in 1859. Um, and, and crime decreased. Usually when there's a revival of people doing what, what God wants you to do, then there's not as many people doing what, what's wrong. And so um, that happens and their standards, their Christian standards um, increased. Their old superstitions, um, they, they, didn't, they weren't listening to those old, old superstitions anymore, which is good. Um, and, but Jamaica um, is a, a one of the British Commonwealth nations. Um, and so they actually have a, um, they were part of the British colonies, but now they are just, they're independent, but they do, um, there, there's a group of, of islands and nations that are all part of the British Commonwealth. And basically they, they help each other out. Um, Canada is actually part of the British Commonwealth. Um, and so, but uh, Kingston is the capital. They speak a, uh, there's, there's lots of different nationalities that were part of, of this. And so their, one of their motto is out of many, one people. So they've got people from Europe, Asia, Africa, and Syria descent. Um, and so most of them speak um, a dialect of English, which combines African, Spanish, and French words but using English vocabulary and grammar. So it's, it's kind of an interesting thing um, that you might be able to understand most of them, but um, there would be some things where you'd be like, what's that word? I'm not sure. So, uh, but that's, that's Jamaica. We've got um, Hispaniola, which um, as you remember is, has Haiti and Dominican Republic on it. Um, and so Haiti is a, the, the second oldest independent nation in the Western Hemisphere, second only to the United States. Um, its name means higher ground, and Port-au-Prince is its um, capital, and it's their chief ex export as well, where they send most of their, um, their exports, their goods out. Um, their, their official languages are French and Haitian Creole, which is French, that's been mixed with an African dialect. Um, and, but many Haitians practice voodoo and there's a lot of sorcery that um, happens on this island and the country's very poor and which didn't help that they actually had um, a, an earthquake that did lots of damage. It was back in January of 2010. Um, so you guys would have been either just born or not quite yet. Um, and, no, you guys would have been born. You guys were, I'm sorry, we're talking to sixth grade right now. Um, you guys would have been three or four years old at this, at that time. Um, so you may or may not remember the earthquakes. I remember them. Um, that was, it was devastating. And, um, but the Dominican Republic is the most mountainous country in the West Indies. Um, and it's got the highest peak, Pico Duarte, Pico Duarte. Um, is the highest peak and that's found on the Dominican Republic. And so it takes up um, over half of the island um, is made up of the Dominican Republic. Um, it was its first, Euro, the first European colony was on there. Um, it was called Isabella after Ferdinand and Isabella, um, but it was destroyed by a hurricane 
And so they rebuilt it in a different location and called it Santo Domingo. And so that's their capital and largest city. It's the home of the oldest university in the Western Hemisphere, established in 1538. That is a long time ago. And a lot of their crop, the main export is sugar cane. Um, and so they, they also have some tropical fr fruits and tobacco, but um, they do a lot of sugar cane and then some coffee and cacao, which is what we get chocolate from. Um, and then the Bahama Islands. Okay, so the last, um, the Buddha, Santa Domingo's, Bahamas Islands. Okay, so the Bahama Islands um, are the ones that are just um, south west, no, southeast of, of Florida. Sorry, get my directions mixed up. Um, San Salvador is one of the islands and um, it's probably the place where Columbus first landed in the New World. Um, I mean, it's hard to know for sure if that's where he landed, but that is what has been um, believed for all these years. Um, and so the Bahamas is made up of seven, approximately 700 islands and 2,300 islands very small islands and so and then the coral reefs that that go with that um, the name comes from a spanish word meaning shallow water and their closest island to us is about 60 miles from florida um, so not too far um, the capital is nassau or nassau 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 i'm sorry nassau <laughs> um, it is on new providence or grand bahama is the island's name um, and so they have a lot of tourism and they, when, when the people come, they have a, a big straw market where they make um, straw mats, purses, baskets, hats. Um, and so that's a, that's a main thing that they, they sell. And a lot of people would probably come back from the Bahamas with something um, as a souvenir like that. Um, many people belong to Baptist churches, which form the largest church group in the Bahamas. Um, and that was something because they are also, um, they were, there were many loyalists or American colonists loyal to the English king that moved to the Bahamas after the American War for Independence. And so they have a lot of their roots in England. And so they actually do have um, quite a few people that, that do um, go to church and, and are a part of that. So that's what they are, um, that's the Bahamas. Uh, and also they are part of the Commonwealth of Nations, um, that English, the British Commonwealth of Nations as well. Um, they were an English colony, but then um, they got their independence from Great Britain in 1973. Um, and so they have a monarch, a constitutional monarchy, very much like England. And so that's, that's their government there. All right, you do have a skill sheet 39 and um, you should have back in chapter 15, um, it was, it was um, assigned but I think I forgot to mention that it was only numbers one through 10. So um, I want you guys to just go ahead and check that and see if your answers for 11 through 33, which are really from this section, uh, of, or the first part of chapter 16. So go ahead and go back through those and just, just refresh your memory um, and make sure that you um, know those and, and have the right answers um, to that section and um, and answer this comprehension check on a piece of paper and then we will see you in the next lesson. Oh this is you have a health test um, so this is the last video so have a good weekend.